of it. So I use that for anyway. But this was done in a different way from the other year. The other year, we went to Bradford Night in the Delta. And we each day we did something different. For this, Material called mylar, and I would paint areas in various color. I paint on the mylar, I shift that to it, to the delta, and then shift it back. And uh, until we got uh, the colors. This was interesting in that because the model is large enough that I could do it too. So I did this one and the last control at the same time. And they have so many prints in different 96 images. So they could do same time. So. Do any of you have any questions about a particular painting that you see here that you'd like to ask me about? Well, let me tell you about something. You see a group of prints above the wall. Welcome here. <laughs> uh, Christmas. I always considered these to be gifts. Yeah. Uh, for a while, we could do them on time, but it got to be so much had to be done about Christmas time that they got to be later and later. And I think yeah. that the letter <laughs> came in April in the Valentine. Well, that's nice because you don't get them all mixed up with uh, some of these stupid Christmas cards. <laughs> but I consider them uh, a gift as well as a message. And what do you have in your hand? So that's what they said wow. since then. And uh, that, that was my gift. <laughs> but I had not able to do those anymore. Everyone started framing them on my parents and people started just collecting them. But uh, the, this is a catalog from the Hewitt collection, which Dr. Hicks is in. And it was purchased by the Bank of America. And since then, they've been valued at $1,500. But there's a very famous um, gallery in Charlotte, and Dr. Grigley is going to be there in the, the end of June. What's going to happen then? The Gantt Center in, in, in uh, June 28. You can check it out. The Harvey Gantt, Harry Harvey Gantt Center in Gantt, in Charlotte, North Carolina. You can check that out on, on the internet. And before you guys leave, there's a gift for you guys. One more question. Um, if they were going to do a show or ask to do a show, how many pieces would you normally take to a show where you were going to view your art? It varies. It varies. Ten, 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 83. 83? Wow. Uh, 
the painting up there in the corner. It seems to be so different from anything else you've done. You see black and white. Black and white. What is it? Black stuff. Black star. Woken. Black star. Black star. It's abstract. It's abstract. That's what I was saying. It's so different from the others. The same as for his abstract. All the way back in 1960. Go ahead. I'll be quiet. Let me quit. That's not objective. Right. <laughs> An abstract is something that you take from a real and do an abstract. A photograph is an abstract because it's not real. If you cut it, it won't be it. But it's abstract. But that's not intended to represent anything. So it's not objective. I'm so used to the explosion of color. Right. Uh, I just couldn't say yeah. this is Dr. Grisby. Yeah. So that uh, I like to do this type of way. Yeah. So is the large one behind you here? Is that finished or is that in yeah. process? It's been in process for about thirty years. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days I might finish it. You're painting these days. What are you working on? I have discovered process recently. Uh, a number of friends that are brand new I don't see in here. Brand new one workshop in New York. And I started to tell the story of you know, going to art school. Some of you brought your art books along. Yeah, that's true. You want to show them what you're doing? Well, I got started late with, I had two sketchbooks. Oh, your sketchbooks. Yeah. Yes. So this one, that we, this has a more, really the research that I do on artists such as here. But my other sketchbook has my free drawings where I go with realism. I like to draw people. Here's um, where we just talk about the principle of art, and I just do examples and definitions. I'm going to make sure we have the common knowledge on art. And here is my experiment for my collage. Is that right? That's your collage. 
collage, right. It's her experimentation for it, actually. It's not even the actual. Mm -hmm. She got pictures of her actual collage. They, had to, they drew a still life first, and yes. then they took the still life and translated it into a collage using paper, they found paper, essentially. So this is where she's experimenting with different ideas for what she would do for her studio piece. Mm -hmm. And um, this is this research on Kurt sweaters. And research comparing thread optics and, and bearding. Bearding, thread, optics, and curse modes. And I, here's the my final for my collage. Oh, that's, that's your final. What right. it turned out to be. So there's pictures of the progression. No. So what year? What year are you? Uh, I'm a student. Oh, you're gonna graduate this yes. year. Then what are you gonna do next year? I'm going to go to Grand Canyon University. You're going where? Grand Canyon University. Uh -huh. Do they have a good art program? They actually have graphic art. They yeah, don't have visual cool. arts, and yeah. I want to emphasize in the visual arts. So I'm gonna look for a program to get into. And like in two years, switch to a college and yeah. exercise more. Mm -hmm. Does anybody yeah. else have something to share? Yeah. Yes, what about that young man? Yeah. This is a drawing that I work on. Yeah. Yeah. Taking a few days ago, I kept going and flying off here because I keep thinking that it's a good question. Yeah, why don't you bring them up here? Um, I'm never exactly sure when I finished it. I just mm -hmm. thought that. Maybe I can add something else to it, but so this is how it ended up. Um, and this is my historic collage. This is the progression of the sketch that I showed you. We don't have display boards. Uh, we don't have display boards. Yeah. Well, we need to get you involved with youth artists because it had to be COVID artists. This is a few uh, sketches that I did for a collage that I was with. Mm -hmm. What would it cost to have display boards? I'm not sure. We do have some. I did a lot of research on it. You're going to be one of my favorites. Okay. Okay. okay, I got a display mount. We have some that are on the order for this, and hopefully they'll be here next year. But as, far as, but as far as display boards that 